I, I find it striking that uh, many people uh, are lowering their expectations uh, for future returns from the stock market uh, on the back of uh, 10 years that has clearly been, been really lackluster in the global equity market. Uh, and that is kind of, if you think about it, that is kind of assuming that since you have had 10 bad years, you will probably have 10 more bad years uh, and that we will have 20 bad or lackluster uh, years of stock market return altogether. I, I draw more the total opposite conclusion that uh, probably we will have uh, 10 really good years ahead because the prices of equities have come down so significantly. And especially if we uh, compare the prices of equity uh, with the prices of bonds, which is really expensive in, 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 in this environment where you see supposedly safe harbor bonds like the, the government bonds in the US, Germany, Norway, Sweden, the Nordic countries trading at a yield of less than 2%. We see some cycles and, and the last time uh, we had uh, negative 10 years rolling returns in the uh, stock market globally was the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, and as we all know that was uh, also a period where it was many uh, who predicted that we would have, we would have uh, uh, lower returns for equities in the future. But the opposite happened. We are, uh, the period from 82 to, until 2000 was really, really good in the stock market. We saw the same uh, end of the 40s uh, and saw the same in the uh, year towards the end and uh, pre pre the years preceding the, the First World War. Uh, and it is this pattern that uh, bad long-term periods t tend to be uh, preceded of significantly better periods. Time where we have a seldom large discrepancies in the pricing of equities compared to the pricing of bonds. Uh, bonds are priced, uh, especially government bonds, are priced at a record high levels in the sense that yields are so low, uh, while equities are priced at a record low level. Um, the risk you connect with, with, with equ equities and bonds is often the reference of, of short-term volatility. But of course, uh, everyone who's in investment for the long term, uh, for those, the, the, the main risk is, is not short-term volatility, but whether your purchasing power of the money you, you, you invest today are increasing in the future and uh, then the picture of risk is actually totally opposite that uh, with government bonds you are nearly guaranteed uh, to lose future purchasing power but with equities you have very good prospects of, of, of getting increased uh, uh, purchasing power with the PE levels we see these days of around 12 globally.